But hello and welcome to On The Mic, a Zoomcast that spotlights students, services, and staff of Highlands Community Charter and Technical Schools. Highlands offers adults 22 years of age and older the opportunity to earn their high school diploma, learn English as a second language, and learn a skill. My name is Mike Ressler, and today we're joined by none other than Richard Andrade. Richard, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing, Mike? Long time no. See, the last time you and I saw each other was at uh, graduation. So, so tell me about your experience, Richard. We're going to shoot right into we're going to shoot right into graduation. Your experience there, and then we're going to go back a little bit in time. But, uh, but first of all, uh, tell us about your experience at graduation um, from the shout out that you did uh, to to kick off uh, the the walking on stage for all the students and and your maybe your journey to graduation. So uh, graduation was kind of surreal for me. You know, um, it was something that I wanted to do for a very long time. And once I got there, um, it didn't seem like it was actually what was going on at first. I knew I was there to graduate. I knew the reason why I was there but seeing all the people, all the other um, graduates in their robes and everything else, it's like, this is really happening, you know? Um, then I got told that I'm leading the graduation and I didn't realize prior to that when I recorded my speech that it would be up on every single big screen in the building. So, so <laughs> during the graduation and seeing uh, myself speak up there uh, with my long speech, um, it kind of brought tears to my eyes because it, it kind of reality set in on the things that, you know, I had to go through and my why for graduation and everything else. And looking over to my right as the video was playing and seeing my daughter a couple rows over and she's just in tears, you know, it, it, it really struck me. And the girl that was next to me, Siobhan, she actually held my arm because she's she knew how much emotion I was going through at the time. Richard, let me jump in and say, first of all, when when uh, uh, when we saw your shout out, that's what we call them, our shout outs. And, mm -hmm. and when we saw your shout out prior to, um, I said, we have to lead off the whole graduation with your shout out because it's not just not just your message, which was so great, but your but your perseverance through, you know, ups and downs, your uh, your why, which is you, your family, which is now listen. Most of all of our Highland students, their why is their their loved ones, and it's usually their kids and their wife, and maybe even their mother, because they, they wanted to promise their mother that they would earn their high school diploma. And so we knew we had to lead off with your shout out because it was so it was so powerful. And it was, you're correct, it is very, well, it was long. Um, but I knew that Richard Andrade could not do it in less than five minutes. And so we allowed that to happen, Richard. So, so tell me about your why and talk about the 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 highs and lows you went through and to maybe start with richard why don't we start with why you left high school in the first place and then then from your journey to your graduation stage so the reason why i left high school in the first place was i got kicked out i got into a lot of trouble um fighting mainly a lot of fights within one year they put me on independent studies um to, for the end of my junior year and I was still coming up to school one day a week to get my you know turn in my schoolwork and then get my new schoolwork but then I ended up getting a fight when I was there so my senior year because I was kicked out of high school I was already working full-time um, for McDonald's and I ended up getting a young lady pregnant um, so we had a child at a very young age um, which was very hard, you know, at just 19 years old to have this child and have this struggle where you have to figure out what to do and how to be an adult very fast. You kind of put your schooling on pause. 
Um, so fast forward many years, you know, of me going through the struggles and everything else, it's like, it was finally time. There was too many signs that were popping up that said, go back, get your diploma. So that's what I did. And I'm glad I did it. Yeah. We, listen, we're glad you did too, because uh, you were uh, for, for many years uh, on the campus at Grand Avenue, you were a fixture around um, certain classrooms, into the office, into the kind of everywhere around Highlands, right? And so, you know, I know that you mentioned that you're going to miss Highlands um, and kind of the, the family aspect of just kind of going where everybody knows your name, right? Exactly. And it, it leading down in the last couple of days, it really hit me because as long as the school was open, and I'm not talking about prior, I'm not talking about during COVID, you know, because to me, the school was open, but we were online basis, right? Which was very, is a struggle for me. So I, I didn't really do anything that during that time. But as long as the campus was open and I was enrolled in school, I made it my mission to be there every single day by 7.15 a.m., even before the teachers got there. You know, I would get the janitor to open up the classroom for me just so I can get my work done. And then I would be there as long as possible every single day. I very rarely, you know, did not go to school. So now that <laughs> now that I'm not going there, it's kind of a struggle because I get up and I was like, what am I going to do now? Right. <laughs> Well, it sounds like Highlands provided you some structure. It absolutely did. And our classroom-based programs, Highlands, where people are asked to come to school, um, that is a great motivation for them to come in. And not only it creates some structure for them, but also they get some social interaction. It kind of mm -hmm. feeds feeds the soul sometimes. Um, we have great teachers, so, you, you know, we, you know, w students look forward to seeing them, um, getting help with their math, with Happy, or, or any of the other uh, teachers that you shouted out. And so now that you're, what, what's the structure look like? Like, what are you going to do to create structure from here on out? That's the question that I ask myself every single day. And I'm looking forward to starting an internship with the school uh, starting next week. Um, so, and I'm hoping that once by the end of that internship that it leads into a job. If not, I need to talk with Sabrina and Princess a little more uh, and see what they can do for me afterwards and uh, go from there. But really, I would like to be back at Highlands as one of the Highlands tribe because it's it's such a great school that, you know, I don't want to leave it. And the fact that my education's done, I was kind of forced to have to leave and I didn't want to. It is. And, and you mentioned uh, Sabrina and Princess. They're part of our Center for Workforce Solutions and they help um, students like yourself get prepared for uh, uh, the need for a resume, the interview, um, how to, you know, uh, perform in in the workplace situations, understand all of that, which let's face it, Richard, employment will provide structures to you. You know, and at, at Highlands, and we've said this quite a few times, this is your job before your next better job. So what we try to do with you at Highlands is to prepare you for your next better job, right? Showing up early on time, right? Which you did, um, understanding that that we all have a boss or a supervisor. And I would always say that our, your, your fellow students were your coworkers and your teacher at the time, whatever class you're in, was your supervisor, right? right? So you'd have to have a great ability to communicate with your supervisor and your fellow employees, um, take direction, um, uh, understand when to ask questions, when you don't understand. So we believe it, it creates a great opportunity for you to become even bigger, stronger, stronger, and faster in, in the new world of Richard Andrade, which is you need that high school diploma. Boom. Check that off. Um, you're going to go to the internship and learn some more. Check that off. Now you're going to be ready, right? I mean, you're going to be ready 
to go to work. Oh, I'm absolutely ready already. And, and you're absolutely right when you speak of, you know, the other students being your coworkers and your teachers being your bosses, because we all look out for one another, right? And the students, we want to encourage each other to succeed and we help each other to succeed as well. And I think that's one of the main reasons why, you know, I keep saying that I want to go back to the school for work because I miss being able to be there for the students and helping them out and encouraging them. And, you know, some of the students, when they were online, they didn't want to come to school, right? They, once the school opened back up, they were, they were kind of scared to stop doing the online process and come to school. But once I kind of explained to them how much more they can learn and how much faster it is to get the stuff done, because the teachers are right there for you. They can answer any questions immediately rather than wait for an email. And knowing that I was one of the reasons that these students came to school from online actually makes me feel better, not only as a person, but just, you know, inside my heart, knowing that I'm somebody's reason. So, yeah. Yeah. And so let's talk about your why, your reason, Richard. Uh, you, you mentioned something about that in your in your shout out video. And uh, so tell us about your family and, and your support system and ultimately your why. So my support system, my family, uh, it was great prior to 2015. 2015, I lost a lot of people in my life, uh, 23 people in less than two years. So it really put me in this spiraling effect where I went into a deep depression. Um, in fact, my psychologist and psychiatrist called it severe depression, um, very high anxiety, and then borderline suicidal. It just, it was at the point that I didn't even want to live and my kids, they, they hated seeing me like that, you know? Um, living in a tent, not really knowing, you know, if I was going to eat on certain days, um, my kids, like I barely would see them because they were embarrassed, you know, embarrassed that their father figure that was once their hero is now struggling through all this and they don't know how to handle it. Um, you know, they don't know how to be that support system at that time because they try, but it's so hard to, you know, just wake out, wake up out of this trance that you're in, right? It, it feels like there's eight people in my head at all times just talking. I didn't know which way to move. I, I just, I wanted to get up and do things, but I couldn't. I just lay in the tent all day. Um, so as time went on slowly but surely you know you start building your self-esteem back up again um i'm a sports announcer I, I announce uh baseball football basketball and stuff like that and the more that i announced kind of helped me get a little bit more um i can't even think of the word right now just a little stronger feeling of myself right um but once i got back into school it made me realize when you guys asked me my why at that time, what I was doing it for. And it, I was doing it for my kids and mainly my daughter, which I explained before, because when you go from her being daddy's little girl and always being there and looking up to you and wanting to do things with you to now just almost alienating you, right? And you just, you want that relationship back. So the school gave me that by helping me, you know, succeed more in life and get my own self-esteem back. And now, I mean, my relationship with my daughter is better than ever. So it, it, it's, it's an awesome feeling. And it, it, it's great to know that, you know, even though I lived in a tent for the, that year, you know, and now that I have my own, I don't want to say my own place because I live with roommates, but it gives you that self that, you know what, I am worth something. And I'm trying to show other people that even though you go through struggles, you're worth something as well. And, and you know, Richard, um, I just love your story because it, it really is the story of many students that come to Highlands. You know, I believe that our staff and our teachers and our paraeducators, our, our only job 
is not just to teach you and to educate you, but it's also to help you grow and gain more confidence and motivate you and excite you about the possibilities that are coming in your future, whether you are 22 or 32 or 42 years old and sometimes 52 years old coming back to earn your high school diploma, uh, you're coming back because you never finished high school in the first place. And there's usually pretty good reasons why, whether they're good reasons, bad reasons, ugly reasons. There are reasons that prevented every one of our high school students from finishing high school when they were supposed to. And so I think our job is to not only teach and educate, but to motivate, excite, and build, help build your confidence um, along with, in this case, you. And it's such a great story, Richard, to hear, you know, because we all have a story. Um, some of it, some of us are more willing to share our stories than others. Uh, and you are certainly one of those. And we appreciate that, Richard, because I think when other people hear this story, I guarantee you people in the audience were thinking, yeah, uh, uh, I know what he felt like, you know, or I know what he's going through, or I know the importance to, of my daughter or my son to me. So I understand what he's saying about his daughter. Uh, so we appreciate you for that. We appreciate you for just being completely open and honest. Um, I see your, I see your gown in the background. <laughs> I see your gown. I, I mean, you're, you're hanging that loud and proud. Um, we, you know, listen, we try to do is, is the, the very best that we can to really celebrate every single graduating class. And so it warms my heart to see that you're hanging that, that, uh, uh, cap and gown with pride and, um, so, so tell us, tell us, uh, as we, uh, come to the end of, of our chat, tell us besides working for Highlands, like what are some of the things that you'd like to do, uh, now that you've earned your high school diploma, you've gained your self-confidence back, you're motivated, um, to do better. What would you like to do aside from working with the tribe at Highlands? Aside from that, you know, one of my original plans was to work for a school district uh, close by, very close by to Highlands. Um, and I knew I couldn't work for that school district without my high school diploma. Uh, a very close friend of mine explained that to me who happens to work within that school district. Um, so, you know, that's always been my plan. I love working with kids. I, I coached baseball for many years. I love seeing how much they succeed from what you do teach them. Um, it gives you a, a, a warm feeling in your heart, right? To be able to help people out. And working with kids is just, it's always been my passion to give them the best experience possible. It's the reason why I do sports announcing is because I wanna give them, you know, kind of that professional experience, even though they're a youth. So I go out of my way to make that experience better. I have thought about enrolling in college for public speaking, even though we obviously know I know how to talk, but you still need uh, to move further in announcing, right? You need uh, public speaking and stuff like that in order to have um, that that degree behind you to help you succeed in, in you know, the professional level. So those are the things that I, I'm just really passionate about. and. I would love to do in the future. Well, listen, Richard, we are, we at Highlands are certainly proud of you. Um, we agree, I think like you do, that diplomas are better and, and you earn yours at Highlands Community Charter School, which, um, you know, we hope that you had a fabulous experience there. And um, there it is, there it is there. Listen, that's what, that's the motivation for all students as they enter Highlands is to exit Highlands via the graduation stage, correct? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And yes, I, I do have my gown up there and I plan on you know framing it. Um, I'm gonna have the gown, the cap and the diploma put into one frame, which is gonna hang up on the wall as well here in the office. And you know, it's, it's a very, uh, 
can't even think of the word, but it, it's one of those accomplishments that you want to display. You want people to know that, yes, I did this, no matter how long it took me, I did do it. And it's up there on the wall for everyone to see. Well, we're proud of you, Richard. Thank you so much for spending some time on the mic. Uh, have a great day. Awesome. Thank you so much.